stumbled across design in ITFF. And uh, when you come to this, uh, when, you, when you walk around Java Center, you walk around the satellite events, you don't know what uh, to look out for. So I asked my team to um, talk to me and to, uh, help me identify some of the people you should look out for in the next couple of days. So I thought today I'll share with you some of those uh, um, designers. And I also I interviewed each of them. And I'm just a, a quick line about their philosophy. So this is Jung, Sun, Jung Sun, who's a Chinese uh, designer and has this wonderful kind of art, wonderful light meets uh, kind of traditional and natural materials. Uh, Karim Rashid, I think you all know, but he has this wonderful uh, phrase in the interview that we uh, had with him. He says he doesn't follow trends. Design using contemporary criteria uh, and in turn, that shapes the future. Um, he has a, a wonderful exhibition at the Chelsea Modern uh, in the next couple of days, and he has uh, many elements from uh, all of his clients, his multiple, uh, multitude of clients. Just watch, just look. That's pretty nice. <laughs> They're nice. How much do I have to say? Yeah? <laughs> Here's, um, here's his lighting as well. Um, and I like, um, I like the idea when he, he talks about it, he talked to me about his, uh, his shop, is that um, his shop is all uh, created around him. He doesn't have multiple designs really. This has himself and people who actually produce, an army of people who produce around him. Um, I like this quote, so this is Kevin um, Sepperman, and he has this uh, wonderfully simplistic school. Um, and when he talked about his inspiration, he said he looked at classic luxury watches. So uh, I don't know if you notice that stool and you think about uh, a wonderful luxury watch, and uh, maybe you all have to think about where that inspiration came from. Here, Jason Miller has this wonderful modular lighting. Um, and he took, you know, what was interesting about this design and many other di designers is this, uh, this move is kind of back and forth between use of the hand and use of the computer, the computer allows so much to be done. Uh, but you know, people still want to rely on using their hand to communicate ideas to their speakers. Uh, Jerry Helling said, I strive to do things that have a life far past the trend, things that don't have to be explained. I thought that was a really nice statement. And basically, Jerry uh, creates, creates um, furniture for children and uh, produces some wonderful things. And you'll see up in this bottom right hand corner, you can, if you uh, go to Jarvis, uh, we, uh, you can see where you can find the, uh, the design. And map is on our website as well. Of you know. <laughs> these 15 or 16 people. Uh, Christopher Gell um, has a wonderful uh, phrase. He says, work with an honest and efficient use of materials. Combine these in a sophisticated way and you celebrate them. And so we have this wonderful kind of use of ceramic. Uh, use of wood in his uh, sort of uh, his cups, his jugs, and so forth. Speaks for itself, yeah. But again, I hope you all get a chance to go and walk through Jarvis and walk through the other exhibition. And then. Uh, Andreas Kowalewski Kowal 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 um, says, influence your work by observing the everyday, observing the things, the details, the moments, in people's behaviours in the everyday. And again, I came through a lot of our interviews, is, uh, just looking at the everyday, looking at uh, celebrating the everyday rather than trying to chase trends. This is a wonderful thing. Fantastic lights. Oh, that's crazy. And uh, one of my favorites, Leila Armand, I'm say this one. Leila Armand. I know her. Um, she's got these wonderful rugs which get uh, made in the car. And every time she creates a rug, I mean, this rug takes a lot of time, and they're doing high value rugs. And she writes a story about every single run, uh, explaining the moment that she, uh, you know, what was happening at the moment when she conceived the run. 
as a ruling Tulakian, uh, she talks about the, learn about, the, uh, learn about the value of minor changes and details, fall in love with the elegance and simplicity. And she has these wonderful stools where she uh, spent a long, long time thinking about uh, uh, weight and the body, and she had to kind of uh, look at the physics to see how those stools would stand up. And Sean Littrell, uh, find a balance between reflecting on the past and looking forward to the future. Uh, which is an interesting statement in a, what could be a very futuristic design for a chair. Niels de Grief, uh, sometimes a design comes from the opportunities and material offers, uh, offers to do something slightly different. So um, he looks at a lot of chair, he looks at a lot of uh, eco materials and how we can use them the efficiently and simply. simply, 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 simply. Um, and Patrick Martinez, uh, here's his wonderful lights, uh, LED lights, or lights that shine behind paint. Uh, he says, designed towards dematerialization, that question is objects of production. I've had a video before, I've never presented this. And then here's a final one, okay, I thought I'd uh, pick a thin, so uh, you'll see the work here as well. So, and I really like this. At the end, Use it as firewood and the ashes as fertilizer for the orchard. Thank you very much. <laughs>